very interesting. Now, next speaker up, Michael here, is a representative of Stanisher Prime. Stanisher Prime, and they are a group of people that are competing in password cracking competitions. And this year at the Crack If You Can competition in Las Vegas in August, they came in second place. And the competition runs for 48 hours, approximately. Yeah. Yeah, 48 hours. And then there are people worldwide, all over the world, sitting at home, at school, I don't know, maybe even at work, tracking passwords. All kinds of passwords, all kinds of languages, all kinds of hashing algorithms are being used. And this is one of those competitions where it's really cool to be part of it. And it's a real, real challenge for anyone interested in anything that has to do with psychology, with statistics, with linguistics, with cryptography, statistics, and so on. And it's a major challenge just to be part of the competition. And soon as your prime, as I said, came in second this year. Now, this topic is very serious. It has to do, with, well, this presentation is based on the Ashley Madison week. But of course, it's related to a much bigger umbrella, more important topic than that. And with that, I will just say good luck, Mike. Thanks. <clears throat> so, um, okay, let's. I start with a kitten slide, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So <clears throat> Ashley Madison actually used Bcrypt, which is um, a really strong um, password hashing um, algorithm. And they used a round number of 12, which we see here. <clears throat> that means they have um, over 4,000 iterations, and that's really slow. So it's slow on CPU, it's slow on, C on GPU. Um, on the example, of this GPU, uh, the AMD R9 290X, um, it would would have took um, if if you have four four cards of these, it would have took um, two days just to um, attack um, all the 60, 36 million hashes um, against one password. So that's really slow. Sure, um, there are FPGAs which would um, speed up um, Bcrypt, but we don't have access to those. <clears throat> so we looked for a different thing, uh, for a different approach. <clears throat> One of us um, asked, hey, does anybody know what the login key is used for? It really looks like um, an MD5 hash. And then, okay, the source code is open, also public, then I ha ha had a look at it. Just, I just grabbed, um, or used grab, and searched for, for a login key, and this line popped up. <clears throat> when I first saw this, I really fell off my chair, because, <laughs> That's just a horrible thing to do <clears throat> for a couple of things. Um, of course, uh, MD5 shouldn't be used um, as, as at least not to, to, to hash any passwords. And the bigger thing, uh, I think, is they lowercase the password before um, hashing it. So that reduces the, the number of um, possible characters by 26, because you don't have any uppercase. Um, uh, you don't have the possibility of any uppercase characters in it. But, sadly, this line um, was, or I opened the, 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 this, this PHP file and before the login key um, actually got um, created, this was done. So what the hell is encrypt password? <coughs> this is the function of it. <coughs> um, it actually uses um, a class called bcrypt and hashes the password. So it's not encrypted, but anyway. <clears throat> um, 
so we knew that there was bcrypt. And the constructor of this, this bcrypt class is um, uh, defaults the rounds to, to 12, which I showed the slide before. <coughs> then, sadly, or if you look at this, you wouldn't um, have any chance of getting the password out, out of the login key. But some of us was crazy enough to, to just test it and took the username, added these columns and just a simple password like one, two, two, one, two three, four, and he got the results. And I was a compy because Kaucho's it's, it's different. <clears throat> Ashley Madison used Git as um, the version, um, version control system. So I did a Git blame and found out that encrypt password was added in, in the middle of June 2012. <clears throat> Which means all passwords um, uh, were stored in plain text before. Another horrible thing to do. <clears throat> so, um, they, mm, sorry. <clears throat> um, we then um, knew that, that, that we could uh, attack all, all um, the locking keys which were created prior to, to June 2012 and uh, tried to, uh, to attack them. Um, what Ashley Madison, Ashley Madison had, could have um, resolved this issue just by creating um, the lock and keys new because they, they, they had all the, the, um, the required information to do so. <clears throat> Also, they lowercase the password. That's really, really bad. Um, and we actually found later on there was another um, algorithm used to, to um, generate these login keys. And that's the second one here. The second one, um, which we called MD5AM2. And the, the first one is just MD5AM. The MD5 IM2 was all, um, only used um, if the user updated their profile and also only if username, password or the email address got um, changed. <clears throat> so what we did is um, we have um, the whole login table and removed all the login keys that we can't resolve. Um, because we have the bcrypt hash, so we, we, we have the username and we have the email address. We just um, generated all possible um, uh, candidates for, for it and run them against MD5 for the login keys. So we found, or we were left with 14.4 um, uh, 14 million um, login keys that we can attack, uh, where we really get the password out of it. <clears throat> so, um, we mostly used MDX Find for this. That's a tool um, created by one of our members. And he added uh, MD5 IM and MD5 IM2. And a uh, third one that I'm going to talk about it later. <clears throat> also, we, um, uh, we, we used the uh, OCL hashcat to attack the, um, uh, the MD5 IM because we could just use the username at the two columns and use that as salt um, or use as an existing mode already implemented in, in Hashcat. <clears throat> also, um, I remember uh, the creator of MDXFind uh, uh, created a tool called PCWell, 
which was used to um, uh, to validate the the DB crypt hash because we only got the lower case password out, out of the login key. <clears throat> so the MD5 spec AM is kind of like a, also, should I say that we we thought. Um, we invented a new method, but found later out that it's already been there in ages in John the Ripper. And it's, there, there it's called the single crack mode. Um, for example, um, we have a username Sinusure um, with the email, email address sinusureprime.gmail.com and the password can get prime. So what this mode does, does is only attack um, the, the user um, or only login keys that, that had um, this, this uh, username and this password. And we could uh, uh, simply use um, any password candidate that we kind of guessed what the password could be. <clears throat> so, we also had uh, contact with um, the guys from Hashcat, and they implemented both of this method uh, into our OCL Hashcat. So added the GPU support, and they were kind enough to um, give us give us a copy of that. That isn't public, but now Hashcat is open source, so you can you can add this yourself. At one point, when we all ha all ran out basic dictionaries, um, our rules, we used another approach to, to um, track uh, more, more of these login keys. So we um, used something called mask modeling. <coughs> it kind of looks um, weird, but it's kind of simple. Just look at this line. Um, we have a length of seven. Uh, the mask is seven digits. Um, it is um, almost 4% of, of um, all the passwords in your queue are um, use, use this mask. And we had the, the so far cracked um, login keys. Um, we, we only had 1.7% uh, 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 of it. So we calculated uh, the delta of it. Um, also added the key spice, uh, all the possible combinations um, with this mask, and added a time in hours to find out which mask um, would kind of, or which mask would, would uh, actually be more efficient to run against, at least at first. Later on, we, we, we used more, power, power, uh, more computation power and uh, attacked the, the masks that would took longer. <coughs> we also um, attacked the bcrypt hashes directly. Uh, we tested, or we took all the usernames uh, out of the database and run them against uh, only the, the, the matching bcrypt hash. So that gave, that, 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 that gave, gave us around, or should I say this way, uh, around uh, 600,000 600, users use their username as password. <clears throat> then we had um, email addresses and looked at the domains and tested the uh, already cracked passwords against um, the same domain. So there was ashleymadison.com in their um, amlabs.net, uh, etc. <clears throat> we also um, took usernames and just slightly uh, modified them and, and, and tested that against the, the bcrypt and that also gave quite good results. Uh, just remove the numbers or add some basic numbers, for example. 
Um, at one point, uh, we also tested all the the, the, the top uh, 30 um, login keys that are uh, cracked login keys that that we. Um, We, we used the, the top 30 um, passwords from the login keys and run them against all the remaining bcrypt hashes we had. This still took a really long time. Luckily, some of us had free CPU power and could run this for a couple of, of, of days. <coughs> so, uh, some statistics. <coughs> We cracked um, 12, almost 12.3 million MD5 AM uh, um, login keys. Then a bit more than 850,000 of the AM2, which means of the 14 that four million possible crack, crackable login keys, we cracked over 90% of it. All in all, um, we, we had over 14.5 four million bcrypt hashes uh, cracked and validated. Um, so that means that we almost cracked 40% of all the bcrypt hashes in this Ashley Madison dump. However, there were, were um, a bit more than 200,000 long keys that we couldn't verify against the bcrypt hash. To this point, we still don't know why. So if anybody has some information about that, we like to hear about it. <clears throat> so, of course, I'm not going to show any, or I'm only going to show the top 10 passwords of, of each. Um, of each uh, algorithm used, because um, we certainly don't want any passwords that could reveal uh, a person's identity. <coughs> it looks really basic. Uh, what, do you, what do you see from from any um, any other leaks, except for of course Pussy and Ashley. That was the specific or very specific passwords pair talked today. <coughs> um, but there are some inter interesting ones in the MD5 AM2. And we believe that was um, used by the bots. We, we heard also um, uh, this, this, this morning. <coughs> uh, we are not 100% sure on this, that's just a guessing, but we believe We're kind of strong that, that this is. <coughs> um, also, you, you see um, here you have default as, as lowercase, and the bcrypt hash is actually all uppercase. That's um, again because all the login keys used um, or were generated from the lowercase password of it. <coughs> so length, length distribution. <coughs> we, were, we, were, we were really surprised that you actually could use one character passwords. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <coughs> um, but, but the rest is, is kind of a, what, what you see in, in it's, it's kind of similar to, to, to others. Um, to other leaks like RockQ. Also, uh, there were only um, 6.4 million unique passwords of it. <coughs> the password complexity. Again, most used um, lower, um, lower, lower, lower um, case characters and numbers, or um, just lower case. Numbers are all, uh, also really um, commonly used, and then it gets more complex, but yeah, that's, um, 
so yeah. Again, most most of the passwords were really easy to crack, so that may may not be um, really um, representing data. So yeah. <clears throat> Conclusions. You shouldn't uh, just add um, pcrypt to, to your product and think you're all safe. <clears throat> um, if you really need a login key, for example, for um, password recovery, so you can send um, your users a link so they can reset their passwords. First, use random generated data and not anything from, from the actual user data. And maybe if it's uh, not, not maybe only also if, if it's only useful for like password reset, then let them expire of, of, of kind of after after some time, let's say a day. Also, let someone look at your code because this one was really easy to find and took me less than an hour to figure it all out, so, yeah. So, questions, and just a moment, uh, you can contact us over Twitter and over email, and you can find an MDX find in here, so.